Last general conference, our prophet said, and I quote, the year 2020 will be designated as a bicentennial year. General conference next April will be different from any previous conference. Now, when he said that, I hope he wasn't referring to the virus because that's making it different enough, but I don't think he was. He wanted us to focus on the first vision. And then to illustrate this point, I wanna show you something. This is the whole world in my hands, but I don't want you to focus on that. This is the equator, the one that goes around the latitude of the earth. In fact, this one is the prime meridian, and it is going from the top of the earth to the bottom of the earth. That's not what I want you to focus on. I want you to look right here. Right here is zero latitude, zero longitude. To help you remember, there's a little post-it note. It's about 380 miles south of Ghana, about 670 miles west of Gabon. When people get lost in the world, when they're using their GPS systems, this is the starting point. This is where you know where you are on the earth based on zero latitude and zero longitude. Now at this particular point at zero and zero, there is a boy out there in a uh, 11 square foot area and it's called Null Island. The reason I show you this is because several years ago, a talk affected my life in a big way. This is the talk. It's by J. Reuben Clark, who in 1938 was asked to give a talk to seminary teachers and institute teachers. In his talk, he tells about a couple of men who are lost at sea, and that the first time that the clouds clear, they try to figure out where they are. How far have they drifted off course? In his talk, he refers this to, he references this to our, our, our testimonies. He says this, and I quote out of the book, In all this there are for the church, and for each and all of its members, two prime things which may not be overlooked, forgotten, shaded, or discarded. In this talk, J. Reuben Clark tells of two things that our testimony needs to be based off of. Number one is the Savior, Jesus Christ that he is the savior of the world. Let me tell you what, uh, how J. Reuben Clark said it. He said first, that Jesus Christ is the son of God, the only begotten of the father in the flesh, the creator of the world, the lamb of God, the sacrifice for the sins of the world, the atoner for Adam's transgression. Jesus Christ, that's where it all starts. The second thing he talks about in this book is he says, the second of two things to which we must all give full faith is that the Father and the Son actually and in truth and very deed appeared to the prophet Joseph Smith. So the second thing, Joseph Smith, and it all started 200 years ago in that grove. Is Joseph Smith more important than Jesus Christ? Uh-uh. DNC 135.3, and I quote, Joseph Smith, the prophet and seer of the Lord, has done more, save Jesus only, for the salvation of men in this world than any, other, than any other man who lived in it. This coming conference, our prophet has given us a challenge. He said, and I quote, I hope that every member and every family will prepare for a unique conference that will commemorate the very foundations of the restored gospel. So here's your assignment. You need to go back to that last talk in October of 2019 and see what the prophet challenges us to do. We still have time to get ready for a wonderful and momentous general conference, probably the most watched general conference that's ever going to be on this earth. I uh, have a testimony of both Jesus Christ and of Joseph Smith. I do believe in my Savior, but I also believe in Joseph Smith and what he did. And everything that in my life, every good thing that's come from my life has been founded on that latitude and longitude of Joseph Smith and Jesus Christ. This is how J. Reuben Clark says it. And this might be a little offensive to some, but don't take offense. He says, any individual who does not accept the fullness of these doctrines as to Jesus of Nazareth or as to the restoration of the gospel and the holy priesthood is not a Latter-day Saint. Again, don't take that... Um, don't, don't be offended by that. He says, I have set out these matters, meaning Jesus Christ and Joseph Smith, because they are the latitude and the longitude of the actual location and position of the church. I hope that you look at your latitude and your longitude and figure out where your testimony stands of Jesus Christ and where it stands of Joseph Smith and make this an absolutely 
wonderful general conference.